Many patients at Children's Hospital are facing their share of challenges, but they're getting a break from all of that thanks to a volunteer arts and crafts program. Lauren Bale shows us how an art cart is bringing smiles to kids and their parents. And more is set, go! Three-year-old Brody's afternoon was spent racing cars, playing with stickers, and then more car racing. Go! And for that afternoon, Brody and his family could forget he's a patient at Children's Hospital. Oh, that was awesome. That was much needed after uh, a long few days with Brody here. Hi. How are you? Good. These moments were made possible by Amy's Art Cart, a volunteer program that brings crafts and games to kids at Children's Hospital New Orleans. So I'll just leave this for you guys. Every week, Claire Trifoli makes her way through the hallways, bringing a little bit of color to a sterile place. Do you want maybe like a board game? Trifoli knows so, firsthand the impact art can have on the lives of patients. So I named it Amy's Art Cart after my cousin who was a visual artist. She lost her life at a young age to multiple sclerosis. What we found with Amy was that continuing to create, to paint, really gave her the motivation. Now Trifoli brings that same creative outlet to others. It's amazing how something small like a coloring book can bring so much joy to um, a child's life. One room at a time. Hi, I'm Claire with the art cart. And one patient at a time. You want a toy car? What you think? The art cart lets kids forget about the hospital for a little while. Hey, hey. For Brody and his family, it was a small gesture that meant everything. It was good to see a smile on his face. Lauren Bale, Eyewitness News. A great program there. If you'd like to donate to Amy's Art Cart, head to our website, wwltv.com.